Yeah, the shattered evidence of a suppressed history. Once we step away from the beaten path of mainstream history and archaeology, and we begin to apply a critical eye to what we're seeing, you can't help but be taken aback by the massive contradictions, the anomalies, the unexplainable architecture and engineering that we see scattered across the ancient world on a global scale. What I want to do today is present some incredible examples of how the mainstream interpretations of history, linear development in human evolution, are severely lacking in their ability to explain these anomalies. Once examined with the appropriate scrutiny, we begin to see a particular form of laziness that masquerades as academic sensibility and educated opinion, but in reality, what we're seeing is an avoidance of problematic elements in the models that we've been used to explain our world and explain our human story. These models are broken, and when we reveal the shattered pieces that have been left behind on the wayside, we're called conspiracy theorists and pseudoscientists, and yet these anomalies do exist, and they demand a real explanation. So I want to take you through as many anomalies in history as I can in the short time I have with you today. Hopefully, you'll come across uh, some things you've never heard of before, and uh, perhaps I can leave you questioning the narratives we're being given on what our ancestors were actually capable of. So let's start with something that I think many of you will probably be familiar with, <clears throat> the Antikythera mechanism. This was discovered in 1901 by sponge divers off the coast of the island of Antikythera between mainland Greece and Crete. Estimated to have been built around 100 to 200 BC, this intricate device is often called the world's first analog computer. It's believed to have been used to predict celestial events like eclipses, planetary motions, and even the timing of the Olympic Games. But what makes it a profound anomaly is the unprecedented complexity of its bronze gear work. This complex device uses differential gearing. Now, differential gearing shouldn't have existed in the ancient world of Greece. This type of gear precision would not be seen again until the development of complex European astronomical clocks in the 14th century. So that's over 1,300 years before that period. So this mechanism forces a radical reconsideration of ancient technological capabilities and suggests that high-level mechanical knowledge was developed, then somehow lost to history. And we don't see these mechanisms widely distributed through ancient dig sites and dive spots in Greece. It stands quite simply as a singular anomaly. And yet, it exists. So the fact that it exists means that there is a contradiction in our period of history that informs us that there was actually deeper knowledge sets, more advanced understanding that was occurring outside of the mainline developmental curve of that time and was actually exceeding it. So this puts a lot of stress on the linear developmental chronology that we assign to human history, the idea that progression occurred in a straight line from A to B to C, does not appear to be correct. Oh, not yet. The complexity of this Antikythera mechanism suggests a developmental lineage, but we don't find that lineage in earlier models or prototypes. It simply appears out of nowhere um, with nothing really to justify its existence 1,300 years before differential gearing was apparently rediscovered rather than invented in the 14th century. I would say it's one of the best examples of complex technological knowledge existing at a time period where it absolutely was not supposed to be, based on the mainstream interpretations of the uh, overall capabilities and the available systems and methods that are attributed to ancient Greece. But there are other examples to go through that cause us to reconsider the historical blueprint that we have been operating with in the modern world. What we're taught in school, I would say, is dubious at best. So another striking example of <clears throat> archaic technology that should not be present in the time period that we discover them in are the Baghdad batteries. 
This is a group of artifacts that were discovered in the 1930s near Kujat Rabu, close to modern-day Baghdad, Iraq. They've been dated to around 250 BC to 250 CE, during the Parthian or Sassanid periods. Each of these objects consists of a clay jar containing a copper cylinder and an iron rod. These were then sealed with asphalt, and when filled with an acidic liquid like vinegar or lemon juice, modern experiments have shown that these vessels can actually produce a small electrical charge, around 0.5 to 1 volts. Now, that's not much voltage, 